Last time I came here a couple months ago, before all the rains and storms, this was dry. I've got pictures. This was bone dry, not a, not a trickle. And I went up a path, I was supposed to follow the lower path, but I went up a path and went up that way. I had to climb right up. That was an error as well. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. It's all natural as well. I suppose somebody might have cleared it a bit, maybe, of sticks. Lovely. Cascading down. Yeah, look, I'm going to actually... Well, I'm not going to get my feet wet, but... Uh, that's beautiful, isn't it? That's because we've had a lot of rain lately. Right, I've got to get across. It's beautiful. I've just come around the corner there. This is summer, August the 23rd, 2019. And I'm so happy to see the water flowing like this. Never ever thought it would come back. And this is, this is summer. It was a couple of months ago I was out here. Summer hadn't even arrived and it was dry here. So this is amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I wasn't going to do um, many videos, but when there's changes or something arises that you need to capture like that, as a comparison to the one I did a couple months back, when that was bone dry, um, I haven't placed that one on YouTube yet. I've, I've still got lots of videos in the wings that have been done but haven't been edited WMV'd or nothing I've got a backlog and this will be another one <laughs> I do manage to get them put on disc and I did have an external memory which is absolutely packed now I can't get any more on it and it cost me £110 that great big memory thing and it, trillions and I've, 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 I've put everything on there not just photos and videos, but documents, stories, loads and loads of stuff. Many videos, many photos, over, hun over hundreds of years, over many years. Everything's captured there. Yeah, it's a great big database. This is very beautiful, this. Look at it. That is absolutely beautiful. And I don't think it will dry up much unless we don't have any rain, of course, because this is the peak of the summer now. It, um, we, we can still get Indian summer. We can still get hot days. But the hours are less. Um, less time to heat up your bricks. So uh, that's why today is so important that I do a bit of a little bit of exploring but go on a really good walk so that I know I've been out because I don't do this one every other week this is done once and then in it from a different angle again but I never normally do this more than twice a year I go one way one day and then I've got to come back across another way I do lots of bits of video um, in the shorter evenings. Right, we're emerging out of that lovely area now. We're leaving that bit behind now. We've, um, we're now going over to uh, passing Bur Burrington Coombe and we'll carry on this track until we reach 
Um, we're heading for Road Barrow and Dolbury War and that sort of thing. But I'm not climbing up the fort. No, I'm not climbing up the fort. I'm, um, what am I going to do? I'm going round, I'm skirting, going up to where the spring is. I can see somebody sunbathing, I think, or is it a yellow bag? Right over there, look. Perfect place for a sunbather. Might not be a sunbather, mine might just be... God, it really looked like a bloke with his arms crossed. No, it's not. It's not really look from here, it really looked like a person. Enjoying the sunshine. Yeah, there's, anyway, I'm following this Barrington Coombe, and I've been up there. Don't go up there much, but uh, don't always have to do it all the time. This track would take me all the way towards Dolbury Warren. And I will then skirt Robert Warren. And I will go follow another stream. And then in the end, I will be back up there later. I've climbed, the last time I came here, I climbed all the way up that, instead of following down, like a fool. But it's all a learning curve, and you learn. <sighs> yeah, I'm really enjoying it. At the moment, I don't, I'm all right. I don't feel like, oh, God, I don't think I can go much further. I don't feel like that at all. I don't feel super energetic either. Um, that's why I don't like too big a diversion, because it does absorb energy and water. <sighs> yeah, we'll be crossing in... In a few minutes, we'll be crossing what I call um, the parade. It's like a... a large, very wide... pathway leading down off the... Off, off the Mendips here and uh, down towards Barrington Coombe. It's, it's a processional type looking route. <sighs> yeah. But for now we follow this and we could always stop if we felt a bit hot. We could always stop like this, look. <sighs> Met a few mountain bikers a minute ago. One with a dog, poor dog. He's making him run, poor little thing, little spaniel thing. As if I feel sorry for it, really. I don't think that's right. <sighs> Not in this heat. I don't think it's right. Making him run like that. Run ragged. <sighs> there we go. Barrington Coombe. My geological wonder. <sighs> and I'm heading right over there. Nice leisurely pace, lovely weather, and then I will go round. Not walking up, I'm not walking inside the the warrant. I'm walking round it. Then I'll be coming up and going to Tynion's Farm, which is a uh, stables, and then down, heading for Piney Slights and back. <sighs> Like I said, I've been all up there. So I've done that path. It didn't seem to take long at all. I always used to think it took ages. Um, I think it made a difference when the ferns were really high. It seemed to You couldn't see where you were going. It seemed to take ages. Can't get over how they've been stripped right back like that. There might be some ferns further over that are tall. Over and out for now.